Hi, welcome to LR Virtual Classroom. Do you know Agile projects are 78% more of a swirl than traditional projects? And also, almost 71% of companies are using Agile methods worldwide. So, let's see some tips and techniques for successful Agile implementation. The first is all about having the five levels of planning. Your sprint will fail if your sprint goal is not aligned with the product roadmap, right? In Agile, planning is based on values and outcomes rather than schedules and resources. It's very important to understand your customer experience. Understanding your customer persona along with your goal and vision and experiencing the pain points is very critical. Considering these four things will help you to avoid the high risk of delivering the wrong product. After all, it's very important in Agile to build the right product and features for your customer. Agile is all about building relationships with your team and also with your customer, right? When your customer is coming to you asking something, if you are already overwhelmed, you will be like, oh my gosh, this is so much of work, I really cannot fix it. But it's time to step back and show some compassion why and where they are coming from. This real connection will help you in a long way. Having a product hierarchy will help you to rightly define your product requirements. Ensure you have a visual representation of your product hierarchy. Mapping the user story with the product over a period of time will help you to rightly define your product roadmap. It focuses on increasing the value and also increases the team consensus. Agile itself has built-in checkpoints to facilitate feedback and collaboration. Waiting until end of the sprint for feedback is too long. In general, it is advised to have short feedback loop as possible. This defines the deeming method of plan, do, check and act. Speedboard collaboration technique is a good way for the team to identify and think individually and then collaborate. Visualization helps the team to easily figure out the problems between the team and also identify the areas which needs organization support and escalation. Having a healthy backlog is the backbone of Agile management. Ensure you have your backlog items in short-term, mid-term and long-term review accordingly. User story is all about persona, action and benefit, right? Defining your user story actions by avoiding the mushy words and having a precise words will really help you. Forced ranking prioritization is a highly interactive way to engage how the team understands the priority. In Agile, it's easy to jump into conclusions very quickly, but you need to know when to ask the team for alternatives in situations like when one design approach is considered or at discussions like defined resolution and product futures are being discussed. Two of the most important Agile checklist is definition of ready and definition of done. Ensure you use, you use these two checklists appropriately. Customer journey mapping is all about understanding your customer touch points and identifying the opportunities for improvement of your products. Testing is a part of development. As you all know in Agile, focus on automated regression testing and manual testing on every iteration will really help you in a long way. What needs to be documented in Agile? Ensure your product vision, roadmap, along with the release plan and backlog items are documented. Other items like data flow and sequence diagrams, user story and customer journey maps can also be documented as well. It's very important to track your Agile metrics. Three important techniques are feedback cycle time, performance velocity and defect metrics are very important metric to care about. Finally, Having the product owner and business analyst roles rightly defined will ensure the right accountability and responsibility. Hope you have enjoyed the tips and techniques for Agile implementation. Thank you. Bye.